All right, here's another weird thing I can't get her mom to stop doing. Is being super handsy. Like, when she's in the car, fixing to get out, ready, sit. Pressure. She's always doing this. She's always holding the collar. I'm like, let go of the collar. Uh-uh, sit. Don't hold on to the collar because then when you need it to actually mean something, it means nothing. Ready, heel. So, I'm like, use, use your body pressure, right? So, in the back of the car, ready, right here, sit. Pressure. What are you looking at? Right? So, if she's, if she's to get up and to go, use spatial pressure to make her go back into the sit. And then now, you can use your collar grab. Right? She's got to go back into the sit. But if you're holding the collar the whole time, that doesn't mean anything. Now, when I grab her collar, she knows it means to go back and do what I said to do. Ready? Let's go. Right? But she's like, she's like always hands on her. It's like, dude, quit touching the dog so much. And then like when the back of this thing's closing, she's like, head in, head in, head in. Like, settle down. When the door closes, and, and this has been like, three times a week for at least a month. When the door's closing, she's telling her to get her head in. I'm like, when the door gets close enough, she's gonna back her head in. That's spatial pressure. That's what I've been telling you to use forever, right? And the other part is, you can, like when she's just sitting there, you can reward her for sitting there, right? But actually, when she gets here, the reward is she gets to come out. But you can still reward that with food, right? And I do sometimes. I do sometimes. I, I try to let her do that work. She's just always, I'm like, quit holding on to her. She's fine. It's okay. She's going to wait till she gets released. <laughs> People are funny. That's such a good girl. Oh, what's the other one? Oh, when she was picking her up Monday night, she went into this weird like she started raising her voice right and i'm like why can't you do that when you're calling her for recall when she calls ginger for recall she's like ginger come and i'm like she's not gonna listen to that dude you're outside she's excited you have to use your voice i thought she just didn't have it but she's got it the lady has the voice <laughs> so i'm like you don't want to go to that super high pitch that you just did because that's you freaking out. She's not going to listen to that. You want to use that middle, that middle tone and volume. You're outside. She's got to listen to you. And she's not going to listen to you if she can't hear you. Right, girl? See, and I think sometimes with this one being slightly bigger, good. it kind of goes onto her collar. I think I do need to try this with two off. I need to do that today. I should have done it when I had you over there. Come on. Good girl. She's such a good dog. You're such a good dog when you're not tearing stuff up, huh? Tearing stuff up because your mama lets you have too much freedom. She don't put you in there to calm down after everything. These toys all over the place. And then it's still using tethering instead of her voice. <laughs> I'm like, if you're there, you don't need to tether her. I told you to tether her when you go to the bathroom if you don't want to put her in the crate, right? Or initially we needed her, we needed her tethered because she was just too crazy inside. But at this point, she's not that bad inside. You can be like, hey, knock it off, settle down, go to your bed, and she'll do all that stuff. Huh, girl? See, I'm a good puppy. I be doing good. Oh. Anyways. <laughs>